much. Cheers. On the whole, members of the public really wanted to help, even though on some of the challenges I was saying the most bizarre thing. I mean, I'm quite independent myself, but sure. it's nice to know that if I was more severely disabled, there is that help available. He might have got the most support on the street, but when it comes to getting auditions, and that's a totally different matter. It's really down to production companies to, to not be fearful about working with a disabled artist. If we can get past that fear of how you actually film with somebody in a wheelchair, you know, how, you know, their changing Access rooms, and yeah, all that and stuff. you know, and panics about ramps everywhere. <laughs> and... That fear often comes from ignorance. So I believe the only way for society to accept disability as readily as these children do is surely for there to be better representation on screen. I'm delighted to say that uh, Kerry has joined us. Thanks for thanks for coming on. That's and we should okay. at the beginning we should say that we did check the sort of viewers log, the correspondence mm -hmm. to the BBC that day, and they were mostly they were supportive. There were very few who came out with this line as like you're frightening the children. Well, I think there were actually nine complaints in total, and then thousands of messages of support. So I think it's really important to flag up that the story as such was the fact that people kind of reacted to you know. The, the people who kind of said the bad things. Um, and, and that in itself was the story. Yeah. But we need more people like yourself who are willing to put themselves up for these, whatever, the presenting job, acting job, to allow children to get used to looking at people with disabilities and therefore they're not frightened. It's a vicious kind of cycle. Well, yeah, no, of course it is. And I, I mean, I, I know plenty of disabled actors and presenters who would like to be in my position, but it's just a case of, you know, are there the opportunities and are producers willing to take those kind of risks and you know I think the one thing that you know that this whole situation proves is that there just isn't enough disabled talent on the telly. Mm. Neil what's your take on, on on this story? I think it's interesting you said that it's, you had nine complaints and thousands of yeah. supportive messages or whatever I think there's probably people in the media are too timid um, about this issue really um, and they should probably confront yeah. that timidity within themselves. Mm -hmm. I the main thing was the children didn't have a problem at all. No, they? Yeah. It seems the parents were the probably ones complaining about it. <laughs> I mean, I think we're all bombarded by this image of the body beautiful, you yeah, know, especially it. women. You know, we're just surrounded by magazines men, of... Men are now as well. <laughs> well, uh, yes. <laughs> but the and ability to fix things, if you have, yeah. you know, wonky teeth or yes. crooked nose, people yeah. go and fix it, don't they? Yes. But if you say it's, we're bombarded with perfection. And I, th yeah, and I suppose some people would find it odd that I might choose not to go down that route. But, you know, it's, it's a very, very personal yeah. thing. I don't think people would find it odd, though, either. I mean, I think people would totally respect your decision yeah. and would probably actually, like me, sympathise with it. Well, now, as an adult, but when yeah. I was a child, it, you know, it, wasn't, it, it was yeah. questioned a lot. Um, but, you know, it was, it was just instinctive to me. I just never, ever wanted to wear a prosthetic arm. So, you know, that was just the choice yeah. I made. All right. Well, listen, onward and upward, you know, and best of luck with your sort of presenting career and everything, you know. I love the fact Kerry told me earlier if she could change anything about herself, yeah. it would be to make her hair blonder. Yeah. She's sick of yes. getting highlights. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite annoying. I know. Have hair. <laughs> 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 be nice, wouldn't it? No, thank okay. you so Thanks much. for coming Kerry, on. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, do send us your thoughts on this to our website, bbc.co.uk slash The One Show. So far in our series on the stories behind